Every game is a sellout here at Gerald Wenfield, but even by Portland standard, there's something a little extra special in the air today for our MLS Game of the Week between the Portland Timbers and FC Dallas. Ryan Johnson will be Freddie Piquillon up front today. Yeah, the key will be the outside fullbacks, Shrewsbury and Harrington, how they handle the speed of the outside players from Jackson. And our thoughts and prayers go out to Kenny Cooper, who is back in Dallas due to a family emergency. That will put the onus on the back four from FC Dallas. When these four start together, FC Dallas is 6-0-3. It is a picture-perfect scene in the Pacific Northwest. A palpable sense of expectation hanging over this Western Conference showdown. Lost Kosic, who deputized last week, and uh, was Kosic's mistake that led to Chicago's first goal. Come back by the fire. So, Guy Valeri for Andrews is there to meet him. Adrian Eric Hosley is down. Near seven minutes into this game, and he's holding his left hip groin area after laying that ball off. This is not good. Cooper flying home and you're looking at the bench, there's no options on the bench. For up front. Yeah, it's only his third start of the season. And it's been few and far between for the Frenchman, who's his third MLS stop. He's with Toronto and Vancouver prior to moving to Dallas. He's got one of the best goals in MLS history in his first year in the league. Without an out and out striker now, aren't they? No Blas Perez, he's with Panama. Kenny Cooper back in Dallas and now Hasley out of the picture after just seven minutes. What does Shellis Heinemann do? He's pondering it. Extended that right knee, didn't he? Chara taking over. There is the conduit. Like it wide to Jewsbury. Positive possession here for Portland. And they turn it into an end product though. Harrington. Laying up his options. And it comes to a pick it up for So close for Diego Valeri. And once Eric Hosley came out, then width became a huge factor defending for FC Dallas. And if Michael Harrington and Jack Jewsbury can get forward and deliver balls like this all day long, Portland will win this game. Valeri unlucky, heads this ball perfectly down on the turf. That's an unlucky bounce. in the thick of the action at the moment. The, the prior opportunity, Taylor, was perhaps the even better one. Yeah, this game has opened up here, but watch this. This is a great ball in. Fernandez way off his line. How does Dancer not put that header on goal? And and one thing about Fernandez, Adrian, he will come off his line at any given moment. That's on goal, it's in. Headed it back across the face of goal, Yeah, but he? you're two yards from goal. That's yeah. just put it anywhere near the goal and it's in. I'm wondering how they're not in front. I am more shocked that Footy Dancer does not put that header on goal. It's a perfect ball in from Will Johnson. Dancer is open and available, but the concern at the other end with Dancer stranded. Here's the shot, and Ricketts is forced to save. Sure, if Amanda Villarreal spotted anything, it's the assistant referee he's going to go and have a word with. See it again. It's a great save from Fernandez, and then watch Benitez come in late to this play on Piquio. Plays over, and then he kicks him. Then a little bit of a headbutt. Yeah. The assistant referee right away was raving his flag. And a clear look at goal. Perhaps Dallas's first of the game as suddenly this game springs to life. And the on the move. Hedges with it. Still the 
Timbers attack alive. Chara. Johnson fancies it. Good effort to Scrawling save from Fernandez. Picking on. Doing the foraging work. And the Timbers stay on the front foot. It's Benitez. Dio. Well, the shot is driven in. Oh, it's a brilliant save by Ricketts. My goodness. What a hit from Jackson. Ricketts scoring full length to turn this aside. I mean, this ball's halfway behind him. That is such a good save from Donovan Ricketts. Almasan. Turn from Nagby and a shot! Oh, yes! A stupendous goal from Darlington Nagby. He's done it against Dallas again. sitting here watching and FC Dallas has defended this perfectly they have numbers behind but you can't teach this George John defends this perfectly keeps his feet that is just something out of nothing from Darlington Nagby a quick turn and hit it back post wow what a goal what a goal right, Leverkusen man moving to West London right on ESPNFC.com Chip over the top, Valeri! Oh, Diego Valeri! Sweet as you like, but what a save to deny him from Fernandez. I mean, we have seen three of the best saves in 2013 today. What a touch from Diego Valeri, but then it's the great first time hit off the half bounce. That is an unbelievable save from Fernandez. Quick reaction, get a touch, wow. Johnson well to win that in the air, but Benitez taking over. Keeping it on the ground for Ferreira. Got away from him. Chara looking to get away. Bursting through the middle. Diego Chara still going. Chara, what a run from him! Fernandez oh, is able to deny him. Heroics today from the Dallas goalkeeper, twice denying Chara now. Well, and Shelly Simon told me that. He hasn't seen this many good saves from one goalkeeper in the first half of the season. How about this game? It's careless from Ferreira. Lovely work from Nagby. Chara is onside. Is it third time lucky for Chara? Well, somehow a goal continuing to elude Diego Chara, and that was the best chance of the lot. FC Dallas is so dangerous on set pieces, but watch this little piece of skill from Nagby. See that little touch? Now it bites. Both center backs have to step forward. Charles in, just prepare it. That first touch lets him down. It takes him too far wide, where he had Fernandez one on one. That's just bad technique. There's no reason to use the outside of your right foot inside the left, and then you can't miss the goal that far wide. Through for company, no way through. And then on the other side, just imagine FC Dallas with Blas Perez and Kenny Cooper. Another victory for this evolving Portland Timbers side.